Okay, Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. Okay, topic for today will continue back what we have learned. Okay, so topic for today will be something related with the data and file operation. Okay, so about this data and file operation, I think some of you already got some experience or even currently now. Once you are using any computer programs, okay, so one things that is quite important, for example, like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, once you did something, you need to save it. Okay, once you did something, you need to save it. So how you can save it? Okay, like inside the MATLAB, okay, the idea in MATLAB now, what you have done before, okay, mostly what you are trying to save, you are trying to save only the mat file okay only the mat file okay so for example like function that you did before okay you need to save that function file okay and then for the script you need to save the m file okay dot m okay the extension will be dot m so how about this one what's the difference between the save file and this topic okay the idea is in this topic is actually, okay, for example, you did some problem, okay, something related with the simply supported beam or UDL problem that you did before. Okay, you got input data, okay, and then you have output data. So this input data, how can you save it? Okay, let's say you are keep on we like to use it and run it again and again. Okay, the input data. So, and then one more thing, the output data. So for example, once you did inside this MATLAB, okay, once you use the MATLAB, you are trying to save only the MAT file, but not the output or the input. Okay, let's say for the output, okay, you have lots of the output data, which is came from the command window. Can you save it currently now what you did before can you save it no so means that any input data any output data from your m script okay which is you run it from the command window okay it's totally you can't save it before okay before this you cannot save it okay this is the idea Okay, this is the other why you need to learn about this topic. Okay, whereby later you can save the input data and then you can save the output data. Means that anything which is came out from the command window, so you can save it. Okay, you can save it. Anything came from the command window. Okay, so as you can see in here, okay, storage of data is a variable and arrays is temporary. Okay, what happened inside the MATLAB normally, which is something came from the output at the command window, is temporary only. Okay, for permanent retention of data file I use. Okay, so if you like something permanent means that we need to use files. Okay, all of us are familiar with the file. Yes, this is what I'm asking you before. Okay, we save our works, example, document, graphics, VB projects, okay, or MATLAB project in a file. Okay, the M file, document dot doc, okay, graphic dot jpeg dot jpg, okay. So everything you need to save in a file. Okay, if we want to edit our work, we will have to retrieve the file. Yes, you need to retrieve back and then you can use and do some editing. Files are normally stored in hard disk or diskette. Okay, diskette, this is the long time ago. We are using diskette, even though nowadays hard disk also, yes, if you have computer currently now, yes, you still need to save it everything in the hard disk. But what I can say now, nowadays people are using cloud. Okay, so you can save it in the cloud, then you can use the file anywhere in the world since that you have internet connection, so you can retrieve the files easily anywhere. Okay, so a file is just a collection of related data stored in one unit, okay, under one name on this. So means that you need to give a name, 
okay to the file that you do okay so means that you need to save it then you need to give the name okay same what you have in the udf okay use the function which is the function is your name okay so that your name is a file name and then what i can say especially inside the malab it must be unique so means unique Unique means that in the case you can't use anything which is same name as function which is inside the mail app. Okay, something which is built-in function so you cannot use that file name. Alright, so same goes to the file. Okay, so the files that a program access are often called data files. Okay, so we have data files or sometimes report files so means that this is something about input and output so what i can say is input okay for input this is where we call it as data files report file okay this is something about output okay your output which is something which is displayed inside the command window okay so where this is you got the report file okay so depending on their formats and purpose okay so it's depend on form format of usage okay so you can see in here this is one of example input data okay so data files are formatted for space saving make them readily accessible to a program not necessarily look nice to read okay so means that it can be any kind of range okay but this range gives some meaning to the malab whereby malab can understand what all of this because what happened in here the input data okay especially what we call now it is data files okay you just put numbers in here no variable okay no variable inside the input data okay or the data files okay and then we have another one which is called as report file okay this is a uh, formatted to so they can be printed out and provide useful information so means that something which is you got from the output of the command window so you can save it okay you can save it into a proper text file okay so this is example of the text file okay so in this case you see this is will be the input data okay this is something a uh, problem about the coordinates whereby you have here the coordinate of x and y x and y x and y so means that you have here x1 y1 okay and then second one you have x2 y2 okay x3 y3 so this is will be the the value so once it's been displayed output at the common window so you can save it okay this is the the perimeter okay for each side of this triangle so you have the value so you can see in here this input and output okay so what i can say it using a kind of like low formatting file okay you make it the simplest type of file which is can be used by read okay and record by matlab okay what we use in here you see this is notepad i think you are quite familiar with the notepad okay you quite familiar with the notepad so in this case you see we can give the name and then with a proper extension okay for example this in this one okay so we just use dot rep but it's a bit hard to understand actually what is rep but in this case it is represent of report but we can use this extension dot rep okay as the output and then we can use this one is dot imp or this one dot i uh, out okay so like i said if you give some unknown type of extension so once you try to open it you got some problem 
whereby this is where you try to click some file you need to open it you need to right mouse click and open file width so you need to find our proper programs to open the files okay that's why i said the best is i think you need to use dot txt so once you use dot txt for the input or for the output okay once you double click on it yes you can open it rather than using notepad okay wordpad or even you can use microsoft word to open these files okay all right so in the files details okay the values stored in data files are generally organized into individual units called records okay we have here something about records i'll show you of this what all of this and then when displaying the content of a file typically each record display as one line of data okay so what happened in here actually if you realize even the output came from the common window actually everything is line by line okay it is line by line okay and then program use file for several reasons okay data generated by one program can be read by other program okay so this is what i said just now you can open it by notepad wordpad document okay data use in one run of program will be available to the next time okay the program is executed so means that you need keep on open and open and run again okay some of the input data so you need to run again so that's why that's the best you would like to use it again so that's why you need to save it as a file okay report can be generated and saved in the form of a file the report can be viewed at any time okay just by displaying or printing the file so it means that something related with the output okay you let's say you like to display it so you just open it so if you like to print it so you can print it from the program a, pro, a proper program that you use okay so this is something uh, about uh, file details okay so just now i said about fields record and files okay a file is just a sequence of byte located on a disk okay a program must take certain assumption about what this byte represent because some of the records okay the more record you have the bigger size of your file okay so how they are organized and how they are assessed okay this is quite important okay so at least we can limit the size what well, i can say this is uh let's say you have maybe a, a big kind of programs okay thousand lines so it means that it involves lots of uh coding inside it so for the output okay let's say you like to what well, i can say you need to make it organized properly because the easiest one is you can use loop so that's why loop can keep on create the output keep on creating creating so means that you need to give some limits okay so we don't want that our file to become big okay okay the bytes might represent the character that makes up a student's name or they might be a, the binary representation of this student's mark in the form of a numeric data file okay this individual data item i call field okay this is something about field okay okay we have file we have records and then we have fields okay in a file a group of related fields for particular students department and so on is a call a record this is example okay which is we use a variable like student department okay so there's another term which is known as record okay but the combination with field and record this is where we have file okay a file consists of a collection of related records so we have lots of records okay what well, i can say the easiest 
to understand records is something related with the data okay about the data so you see in here okay this is example of the output okay the, this is the example of the projectile okay so you throw the stone so we like to see how far it can go and then how fast it can reach to at certain distance all right so you see in here this is a field okay something related with the title okay time second sx sy v okay velocity what is okay that one is field then we have records okay inside in here all the data in here is record okay and then you see in here this record how it is being printed okay for the output this this is what i said it is line by line okay one line one line one line it depend how you design it you can make it also by column and column it's not only row only okay record something about row okay feel something about column okay but combination both of this feel and record this is where you got file okay this is where you got file okay do you understand okay i do hope you understand what i try to describe in here okay next about assess method how you can assess all the files okay a files record can usually be assessed sequentially okay please remember this sequentially okay so means that everything must be in a proper sequence okay that is when a record is read or written the next read or write will be referred to the following record so means that either it is read file or write file okay so it must be in a proper sequence so that's why even from this one so the output if you can see everything is a sequence okay first one the we will display about output time and then distance of sx and then sy and then velocity velocity okay next line will be next the time okay 102 88.28 okay so will be by sequence okay even though same like the input okay it must be in a proper sequence okay because in our case now we are learning something about the reading method and the output method okay read and write method is using sequence method all right okay in the case of reading from file okay successive reads can continue until the end of the file so miss in here okay before this uh, i told you even in the udf it must be in the pair okay for example if in, inside the looping you have four and then at the end is you put n so same goes this this one too okay in the file also same okay once you open you need to close it so to close it means that this is will be the the end of the file okay you must state this if you don't state this means that what happen is it will keep on reading and reading and reading non-stop okay that's why we must have put some stage where we be the limit okay and then in the case of writing to a file successive writes can continue until the unused space of the physical medium has been exhausted okay but in the writing okay a bit different okay so it is until unused space So means that it can be right and right and right until the file is full. What I mean by full is wow. I can say if something related with the size, the tot the the size will be totally big. Okay, okay, it will be totally big. All right. So this method of assessing records is called sequential assess. Okay, this is the most often use method to assess file okay in many cases 
it is necessary to assess the records in an arbitrary order. This kind of assess method is known as random assess. Okay, this is a bit different. Okay, arbitrary order means that it will be read randomly. But in our case, now we didn't learn something about this random assess. Okay, we use sequential method. Okay, sequential assess. Okay, so random is a bit complicated. Okay, so uh, I think within a certain limit time frame of your learning, okay, we don't have enough time to learn about this random. Okay, so now that database system are widely employed, file that allow random access are not as prevalent as they used to be. Okay, what well, I can say is a bit complicated if you like to use the random access. So in our case, okay, in our class, now we are using this kind of method, okay, which is known as sequential, okay, sequential file or sequential access. All right. Okay, this is some of example, the function, built-in function that we use. Okay, it's a lot. Okay, it's a lot. You can see some of it known as f open, f close, f read, f write, f print f. Familiar with this one? Okay, f print f, f scan f, s print f. Okay, it's almost same like f print f. S, S scan F, F error, F E off, F seek. Okay, so all of these function are equivalent to the programming language like C. Okay, C also, C language also using this kind of function. Okay, this function will prove very useful when reading data file from a file or writing data to a file. Okay, so this one is really useful for the reading and for the writing. So means that reading means that to read the input data. Writing means that to write the report file or the output data. Okay, so you have two difference in here, reading and writing. So in this blue color, yes, it's a lot. Okay, but don't worry, we'll try to learn one by one okay so but in our case we only use okay this six types f open f close f read f write f print f f scan f okay this is the syntax okay f open means that you need to have file name and then the flag okay this one is for the open file okay f close to close a file this is what i said once you open it you need to close if you don't close it, it come on reading and reading and reading non-stop. So what happen? Your program getting hang. Okay. So you need to close it. And then read. Okay, read binary data from a file. Okay, F write. Okay, to write binary data A. Okay, means that the variable. Okay, to a file. So means that what happen in here, we try to make it any variable. Okay. Same to any value. Sorry value like vector, okay, same to the, equal to the variable, okay. And then you have here FID, don't worry about this one, I'll describe to this, what is FID. Actually, this is a variable name, this one, FID. Okay, and F print F, yes, we're quite familiar with this one, F print F, okay. So normally you are using for the output, okay, formatted type of output. And then this one, F scan F read formatted data from a file. Okay, this is what we'll use in this topic. Okay. Okay, so this is a basic syntax. Okay, for the F open. Okay, so means that to start using this file. Okay, so you need to give a command of F open. Okay, so file ID means that it can be any variable. Okay. So it can be any variable in here. You can put A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on. Okay, any variable. Okay, so in here it being written as F file ID. Okay, file ID. 
Okay, and then now you have f open. So this is will be the function f open, and then file name. So what will be the file name? So this is where I, I said just now. So this file name. So let's say you, the file name is input. So you need to have like input. Okay. Dot txt the notepad. So means that you are using this input dot txt inside it will be the input data. Okay, and then in here you have permission. Okay, you must have permission. So permission in here you have this three. Okay, normally you are using this three. R means that it is for reading. W, so means that is for writing. A means that for a pen. Okay, so for example, in here, if you give a command of in here W, okay, it will return something inside the file. Okay, for the output, especially for the output. Okay, what happen in here if you keep on using W and then you have new data. So what happen is it will be rewrite if you are using W. But in here, okay. For example, you have here one, two, three, and then you have new one. The data is okay, six, seven, eight. So what happen is this one, two, three will be demolished. Okay, it will be override. So this is will be the new data six, seven, eight. By in this command of a pen, it will keep on edit. Okay, we will add. Okay, so for example, you have six, seven, eight, and then you have another data one, two, three. So five, six, seven. Okay, it will keep on edit. Okay, add on, add on. Okay, so this is for a pen. All right. So yes, we must use this permission, okay. But for the R, okay, it depends on situation. Either you want to use or not, okay. By default, actually, if you don't use R, so Melat will understand. Okay, means that you didn't put any permission inside here. You just make it blank. No R, no W, and no A. So by default. MATLAB will understand it is read. Okay, so means that the usage of R letter in here is optional. You can use or not. If you didn't use, so means that MATLAB will understand it is for reading. All right. Okay, so this is the more proper syntax. So like I said in here, okay, you see. The file ID, so you can use this one variable FID. Okay, and then this is will be the function name. Okay, F open, and then this is the file name. Okay, don't forget this quotation mark in here. So you must have quotation mark, and then put in here. Okay, the permission either it is W R O E. So you must have FID equal to F open input data. Okay, the file name and then the permission. So like I say, it must be in pair. So end up. So this is where you need to have F close. Okay, F close. Okay, once you open, you need to close. Okay, FID. Okay, we need to close it. Once you open, we need to close. All right. So more examples in here on how it being used. Okay. So FID F open text file. Okay. So this is the will be the the file name. Okay, and then this is the permission. Okay, either it is R W. Okay, this one is something new. W plus, but we don't use this one. W plus. Okay, means that it will be override. Okay, it will override. Okay, a a pen. So 
it will keep on a pen so this is what, what I've described before and then there is another uh, what we call it as identifier okay so at certain cases we can use a like number okay FID equal minus one okay this is for data validation okay for data validation I think you have learned before about topic data validation so rather than you give a proper command okay using the loop or selection method okay you also can use this kind of method by using identifier in here just a, a kind of like a symbol okay minus one means that mallet will let's say you give file name like this so but this file name is not in a proper folder so mallet will be display okay uh command so whereby mallet will tell that it cannot open the file so we just put in here just add up this line fid equal minus one okay one and two okay this one why well, can set uh seldom use this one okay normally i will use fid equal minus one okay and then this one like i said once you already open so you need to close it okay you need to close it all right okay so this is example uh, i want you to open a mail app okay open a mail app and try to type this one inside the command window okay inside the command window type this one okay you have here a vector okay inside this ve vector the value is one two three eight four five Okay, equivalent to the variable a in here okay type this and then you have here fid equal f open okay and then this is will be the file name okay you have the file name and then this is will be the permission so the permission is right so what do you think in here okay never mind i leave it first okay and then here we give another function command in here f right so you see uh this is will be the fid number to string okay this is a just a normal example okay which is this number we try to convert into a string okay so what happened in here is number to string is we try to convert this variable a Okay, rather from number into a string and we put here a character okay once you write it okay something like this you see f right so means that in here we try to open okay and then this file is using for write okay and then we give another command in here f right okay f right so means that this variable a will be right into this file okay so this variable will be right into this file and then you need to close so this is what i said so it must be in a pair okay once you open it so you want you need to close it okay write this one okay into your command window okay so this is you got symbol like this means that this is will be the from the command window okay so you have f open and then f close must be like that it's a pair okay so what happened in here is like i said this variable of a okay and then you got some vector value in here it will be right into the this file name okay we will write in this file name so once you write this okay once you write this okay this is example okay let's say i give okay <laughs> actually i i did everything uh using the script okay never mind i just paste it in here okay i type it variable a and then this one open so means that we will open the file and then we will write okay so the command for this file is 
right. Okay. Alright. And then you see in here, I gave another command in here. Okay, F right. If I denum to string, okay, variable A. Okay, so once you did it, and then the last one open, and then we need to close it. So you see, once I press this, okay, so means that this is a completed, completed set of the file command. Okay, so once I did this, if you realize, Okay, inside your current folder window in here. Before this, supposedly you don't have this. Some data dot one dot txt. So this one. It's not there. But once you completed do this line, so once you finish it, you can see this is will be the the file. So what happen is, this is the a kind like input data okay input data which is you try to save the input data so uh, another method is you can use a command of input data input okay i n p u t you give input so user put some input data you asking please input value of w please input value of a so the value of w and a will be saved inside the this file Okay, so what happened in here? Okay, once you see this file, okay, I try to double click on it. So this is what you got. Or you can see inside your folder. Okay, inside the folder. So this is the file of some data the one. Okay, this is what I said. You can dub simply double click. So notepad will be open it. If not, you need to right mouse click and then open with, okay, you can also open with the word pad. So word pad, almost same like when uh, Microsoft Office. So you can open the file. So you can see this is will be the value. Let's say I try to change it. Okay, I try to run something like this, but this one I put uh, rather than one it, over there, I change it to nine. Okay, and then I try to run. Okay, you see what happened here, input, you see? Now it changed it to value of nine over there. Okay, same goes to this one. Same data. Okay, let's say I try to open it. Yeah, you see? The value now is changed into nine. So this is what, I, what happened, the idea is. Okay, so the idea in here, from this command, Okay, so this variable A, okay, you got the vector, so all this vector data will be saved inside the this sum data one dot text. Okay, inside the sum data dot text. Okay, so try to do this. Okay, and then next, okay, this is what I can say. You just play around. Okay, so you got the value one two three in here, and then we try to change. Okay, rather than uh, the value of this one, two, three, eight, four, five. Okay, we try to open it. And then what happened in here now? We are using this command, fread. So what happened in here is fread. Okay, you see in here. This is why I said, so, okay, this is everything in the single line. Okay, FID, F open, everything in a single line. Okay, you see in here, FID, F open, you see, there is no permission. So, means that this is the read command. Okay, we don't put any permission inside here. Okay, so what happened next? Okay, this big capital letter of A, the variable A in here is equal to F read FID. So, means that, okay, before this, the small A in here, Okay, this is different, okay, I think you know. Okay, the variable of A, small capital and big cap, okay, is different value. Okay, so this one, small A. So what we did is we give the this vector value. Okay, but now we change into 
big A. Okay, so now big A got also got the same value of vector 1, 2, 3, 8, 4, 5. Now you see we are using the command of F read. Okay, so you already know what is FID. Okay, it's just a normal variable. Okay, and then you already know F open. Okay, before this F write, and then now this is F read. And then it must be pair once you have F open, you must have F close. Okay. So now you we try to close this command. Okay. So what happened in here is okay, now big A. So B equal character A transpose A. Okay, this is just to play around. Okay, where you can see now we have a B value in here is same the value of this big A. Okay, so you got this value. Okay, try all of this. Okay, okay, try to play around with this. All right. Okay, next. I want you to do this. So before this, we have value 1, 2, 3, 8, 4, 5. Now change the value. Okay, rather than use 1, 2, 3, 8, 4, 5. I want inside this sum data 1. Okay, the value now is no more 1, 2, 3, 8, 4, 5. Now the value is 8, 7, 9, 3, 4, 5. Okay, this is new value. Do this. Okay, so do this. You need to use the F right. Okay, F right command. Okay, now the new value is 879345. Okay, do this. Okay. So, okay, so now you have the value of the new one, 8. Seven, nine, okay, three, four, five. Okay, supposedly this one no more the value of one, two, three. Okay, new one, we have new one. Okay, eight, seven, nine, three, four, five. Okay, so I try to run it. So supposedly inside here now you have eight, seven, nine, three, four, five. Okay, you got new value in here. Okay. Next. Okay. You see in here? Okay, try to get this value. Okay, inside the sum data dot one. So you see in my case now. Okay, this is what I did. Don't use inside the script. I want you to type everything inside the command window. Okay, I just show this example only. Okay, you need to type everything line by line using comma window. Okay, same like this one. Okay, so you need to do everything inside the command window, not inside the script. I just give example only. If not, you can't see how it works. Okay, type one by one. Okay, like this. See, okay, you got that one. Then FID. Okay, then type, okay, do it one by one. Okay, right, then F close FID, the last one. Okay, type one by one, enter. Okay, now you can see the data in here, it become rather than one, two, three just now, now it become eight, seven, nine, three, four, five. Okay, new value. Okay, next. You see, I want you to get this. Okay. So this is will be the new one. Okay, new uh, function. Okay. Just now you already seen F right, F read. Now we have F scan F. Okay, this is new one. Okay, F scan F. Okay, to start use this. Okay, for yes, this is new uh, file. Okay, new syntax. Okay, what happened in here? I want this FID to be open this text file. Then you see, by default in here, 
Okay, I didn't use any permission. There is no permission in here. Okay, so means that this is for read. Okay, I give start new comment in here. Okay, and then I type this. Okay, S can F. Okay, this one to get the value of a one, a underscore one in here. Okay, I type here. Okay, you have the value a one is equal to eight. You got the idea in here. So what happened in here now? You have a variable, and then this variable you need to equivalent to some value. Okay, you see this is will be the value. Okay, you have the first value. It is eight, a one. Okay, you got a one. All right. So in this case, you got the value now. A one is eight. Okay. Now, try to get the value of a two. Okay, this is the value of inside of your text file. Okay, and then this is the index, the sequential. Okay, so number one will be the eight value. Number two will be seven value. Okay, number three will be the nine value. So same goes to let's say you want to get the vector value of a three. Okay. From the vector a at the index three, so three we miss that the value will be nine. Okay, so same goes this one, but this one what happened in here? We try to make it this variable equivalent to some value inside the file. Okay, our file is some data one dot text. This is the file. Okay, so second one. A two. Okay. Press, so you got second value is seven. Okay, let's say, for example, now I'm still I'm still using this a two. Okay, I'm still using this a two. Okay, I will I don't use this value a three. What do you think? What will be the answer? What will be the answer? I'm still using a two. Okay, you see, I press this. Now you have the value of nine. Okay, next. Suddenly, I try to get the value of a three. I press here. Yeah. Next, what will be the value? Now you have the value eight, seven, nine. But this one, you see. I have here variable a1, variable a2, and then suddenly another one variable a2, and then now I put a3. So what will be the value? Okay, supposedly the value will be the fourth value. Okay, this one, the fourth index. You got three. Don't get confused with the variable. The most important part in here is the index, the sequential. So what happen in this command? Okay, you see, even though this one I put a six, what we done, sir? Eight seven nine three eight seven nine three, but this one I give a six. The value will be four. And then this one I put a four, a four. So the value will be five. And then suddenly I change back to a six. What will be the value? It already exceeding of this text file. You see, I press it, you get empty value. Okay, you got empty value. So this is what does it mean? Okay, you add more. Okay, so e one back. You got empty value. Okay, you see. What's the idea? Is everything is in the sequence. So 
don't to worry about the variable numbering okay this is not give any meaning the important one in here is the sequence okay because you are using sequential method so means that what goes first that will be read first okay so means that for the first step you got this one second step will be this value third step this value even though the variable in here it is a6 supposedly the six index but it's not because in this case this a6 is at a4 index okay at four index so if we read the fourth value so the answer will be three okay so don't get confused about this one okay so same to this one once you finish everything okay you need to close it okay you need to close it f close fle so you will stop read okay so you have f open and then you must end with f close okay so that's the method okay so please remember this one is good okay for example for uh, let's say the exercise that you did before using wela w e i l a variable you have w you have e you have i you have l variable and then you have a value okay a variable wela so you can put inside the notepad okay so means that the notepad this is will be the value of w this one e this one i this one a okay l and then this one a so means that everything is inside the notepad so how can we read it and make this value equivalent to some variable so you need to use this command f scan f okay so now you already know a lot of function related with the fast so this new one known as f scan f all right so new one f scan f so before this you already know about f read okay it's a lot now you already f scan f okay so please remember okay please end with this f close okay once you finish it Okay, maybe you're asking me what this one stand for. Okay, how many value you want to capture? Okay, this is what does it mean? If one only one value, if two two value, if three three value. Okay, you see example in here. Okay, let's say I try to run back this problem. Okay, I try to run back. Okay, and then I give this one. Oops, you need to start with the open. Okay. Okay, you see in here. Okay, I put two in here. You see, A1, supposedly just now you only have one value. It is only eight. But I give here two. You got two value, eight and seven. 8 and 7 okay try run again now a2 two value okay what does it mean you already have 8 and 7 so I, once i press enter 8 7 now it is 9 and 3 okay 9 and 3 so you have another one a3 another two so it is 4 and 5 Okay, F close. Okay, once you finish it. Okay, try run run again. Now I'll give the command is three. Okay, means that you will get try to get three value. So means that A1 become a vector and then not a scalar. 
So it become the value of 8, 7 and 9. Okay, it become the value of 8, 7, Okay, so this is what does it mean by the value of 1, 1, 1 in here. Okay, so try to play around with all of this. Okay, now we try to look more deeper. Okay, the examples on how to use this file operation. Okay, so this is example which is without the file operation. Okay, example without the file operation. Uh, it is a projectile example. So I don't want to describe more what this problem is because we have seen this before. Okay, I think you can read it from the slides. Okay. Okay, but you need to do this or refer back to the previous lecture because you already did this example. Okay, you already did this. Okay, so something related with this uh, projectile. Uh, this is the flow chart, how it works. Okay, supposedly you already understand all of this because now I'll I would like to concentrate more on how to use the file management. Okay. Okay. The file management method inside this projectile example. Okay. You see, this is the examples, uh, without any file management in this. Okay. So you have the input data. Okay. So mostly this is will be the process and then this is will be the output. Okay, the parts something related with the output. So this one will be the input. You can change this one into a input command. So I put it also in here, the examples. If you like to use input, so you just change uses this input. Okay, so rather than you have fixed value in here, so you can have any types of value. So you can change this one. All right. Okay, so this is will be the mostly this is the process and then this will be the the output. Okay, so you can see in here the output. Now, we're quite familiar with this one, isn't it? F print F. Okay, we'll use this F print F. Okay, F print of for the output. Okay, we we'll use this method. Okay, and then you have here F print F. And then this one, something new. Okay. We are using format spec. This is variable actually. Format spec is variable. Whereby inside this format spec, okay, is listed down all those value which is related with the output. Okay. The variable related with the output. Because in the fprintf, you see in here, you have fprintf. This is... Normally you put some text in here and then the formatting. Okay. So the basic syntax is you have F print. Okay. Print F. Okay. And then you have quotation mark whereby inside here. Okay. This is will be the formatting. Okay. And then next you have the variable. Variable. So this is basic syntax. Okay, I'm always highlight the basics. You must understand this. Okay, once you understand clearly about this formatting, okay, get okay, the basic format in here, the basic concept or basic syntax, you can apply with anything. Okay, you must understand this one first. You have F print F, okay, and then you have quotation mark, and then this one will be the formatting about the variable. And then you see in this case, it is only represent one variable, variable one in here. So this one formatting for the, this one variable. What would, if you have more variables, variable one, two, three, and four. So means that the formatting in here, let's say you have variable, four variables, the formatting also you need to have four. So what I can say, this one must be being written down here. So you see inside MATLAB, okay, this is the screen. If you 
try to write it like that. So what happen in here is you getting long until exceeding the space for you to write of the coding. Okay, it's a lot. Okay, so let's say this one. You didn't use this. Change it. I put here. Ah, you see. Okay, it's quite long. Okay, so that's why we try to reduce it. Okay, we try to reduce. So rather than we use a long type, something like this, being written at single f print f. So we change it into a variable. So that's why we put in here. We collect all four variable in here. One, two, three, four. It's to represent for t, x, y, and v. Okay. So you have four variable. Let's say you have ten. So you can use something like this. So at least ten variable is at a single line like this. Even this one, you also can change it as a variable. Okay, make it a single variable represent of lots of value. Okay, you can make it like a vector for this value. Okay, so you can change it. Okay, it's not problem. So that's why we are using here format spec. Okay, to show that we have in here variable is more than one. Okay, so this is a basic syntax. But just now you see this one, you have backspace n. What this for? To go to another line. Okay, and then you have backspace t tab for distance. Okay, what well I can say all of this is only aesthetic to to make it look nicer. Okay, so that's yeah. What well can it's not too important, but the important one this basics you understand this one first. For the for the aesthetic one letter you can add after after this, but the important one the basic syntax you must understand it properly. Okay, so this example you see this is whereby without the without any usage of file management. Okay. Okay, so now we need to use F, this f print f. Okay, you have f print f over there. Then down there also you have f print f, okay. So what happen in this f print f is you realize this is will be output will be display at the common window. So like I said before this, rather than the output being displayed at common window, now you can display the output at the file. So you can save it, okay. You can save it inside the file, okay. So to save it. This is where you need to use the command f print f. Okay, we need to use command f print f. Okay, you see, there's this example. Okay, which is using the file management. Okay, so this one still the same. Okay, this one still the same. Okay, this one also still the same. Now, this is the starting part. FID F open projectile dot txt. So what happen in here is any output you see the permission is W. So what happen in here this FID okay is related to all of this FID. Okay FID you have another FID FID FID. So what I can say now. Anything related with the f print f, you just add a few line in here. Type fid. So to show that any output from the command window, okay, now will be displayed inside this text file. Okay, so because the command in here is w. Okay, the command is w. Okay, so what happened in here is I said. Okay, this is will be displayed at the file. Okay, our file will be projectile dot txt. Okay, so you just type fid equal to f open. Okay, this is will be the file name, and then this is will be the permission. So 
once you have FID, so at the end, to pair it, okay, you have F close. Okay, so any F print F, you have here F print F, F print F, and then add with FID. Okay, even though in here, inside here, you also have F print F. Put it FID, FID, FID. Okay, add all the F print F. So means that all this output, it will not display anymore at the command window. So straight away, it will be displayed inside this text file. Okay, inside this text file. Okay, you see this example. Okay, so I put it like this. Okay, and then this one, F print F. So you have FID at each of the F print F command. Okay, at all of this F print F function. Okay, we add another line in there. FID, FID, FID to represent this first step of open file in here. Okay, so once I try to run this, okay, you see at this command window, try to clear it. Okay, and then I try to run this. See, nothing happened. It's not displayed anything inside the command window. So what happened in here, the output will go to this projectile.txt. So this is the file. I try to open it. Okay, see? You see? So what happened in here now, everything will be saved into the file. Okay, rather than it's being displayed at the command window, now it will be saved into file. Okay, this is why I say a good method of this file management. Okay. You see, the output, everything will be safe inside the file. Okay. So the idea in here, you must put this FID at each of the command of this F print F. Okay, let's say you want something at least being displayed to the command window. How to do that? How can you do that? Easy. You see in here, what happened here? We rewrite it back. But what we need to remove? This FID. Okay, make it back to normal. Okay, so save it. And then try to run it. Okay, what happened in here, you will do two things. One, something related with this FID, we record into the file. And then at the same time, it will display it to the command window. Okay, so means that anything, let's say you want to be displayed both, okay, command window and then at the file, so you need to repeat it again. Same goes to this one. Okay. What happened here, actually you just remove the FID only. Okay. Just remove the FID. If you don't want to display it, okay. So I put command in here. So it will means that it's not read this line. Okay. I try to run. Okay, you see. Command window is clear. Okay. Got the idea? Okay, so means that in here, this example to show you, okay, how can you can use this file management method rather than the output being displayed at the command window only. Now it will save straight away into the text file. Okay, for example, in here, you see you can open it using text file. Okay, projectile, you see inside here. This is the view, okay, inside this file, or I can open it using WordPad, for example. So everything is written into the file, so you can save it. Okay, so you can save it. All right. So this example show you 
how you can display anything something being displayed at the command window now you can save it into a file okay next this green color how we can save this input and then how we can read that input okay new one so how we can make it as input data this one okay so next this is will be the file operation okay related with the input and output just now it is only output and then now it is related with the input okay so you see in here this is will be the output okay this one you see we make it everything into as input okay rather than we put everything the command or the value at the command window so now the input value we put it everything inside the file okay inside the file okay so this is will be the input and then this will be the output and then in this example too we have some animation okay so we can see how this projectile let's say you throw the stone or the rock so how it will be moved okay so this one also related with the output okay okay like i said this one is the basic syntax so you must understand this okay this is the basic syntax f print f and then you have the formatting and then the variable so to expand more to use inside this topic file management so once you have you put f open okay and then you have here f close okay and then this one will be the fid or this one file id okay this one is fid equal to something okay so you have set of this so inside this so means that anything related with the fprintf once you put the fid inside it and then using a proper pro format spec and then related with some variable if you have lots of variables okay so you can use this syntax okay so the idea now by using this kind of method so no more displayed at the command window so everything all the output will be displayed inside the file okay everything will be displayed inside the file okay so please remember this basic syntax like i said those backslash n backslash this is just aesthetic only to make it wow your output look nicer and everything okay all right so this is example okay we add more in here whereby this examples okay for you to save the input or to read it from the input that data okay so this is what we did before all of this okay but this is the new one okay you see in here now we have okay before this it is w right this is for input that's why we give read okay whereby this data one dot text inside this file this is where you have the input data 1.02 okay and then you have the angle 30 and then you have the velocity 100 for example inside this file you have this value okay you have this value okay okay and then this one okay this is what i said please ignore this one first okay this line okay this is for the data validation you see it's minus one okay i'll describe after this but the important one this one i would like to highlight this okay inside this data one what happened in here you have 
Okay, the value of three value is this one. You have here. Okay, the initial velocity. Okay, the initial and the time step is the n one. Okay, I change it. It's not something like this. Okay, so the first one will be the velocity, one hundred, and then you have the angle, thirty. And then we have here the time step. Let's say the value is one point o two. Okay, so this is will be the v. This one will be the a, and then this one will be the h. Okay, so the index. This one is number one. This one number two. This one is number three. So that's why in here you see we use command f scan f. So the first one you scan, okay, will be equivalent to this variable. So the first variable is v. So once we scan it, so we got the value of one hundred. Okay, and then second one, okay, it is angle. So we have here thirty, and then the third one we have here one point o two. Okay, we have one point o two. So This is will be the third index value. Okay, so what happen in here? Anything, okay, the data inside this text file will be equivalent to sum of variable in here. Okay, will be equivalent to the sum variable. Okay, v, a, and h. Okay, so what happens in here now? You already have the value of v, so this v we will use for calculation. And then this a will use for the calculation in here, and then this value h also we use for the calculation. Okay, let us use in here. Okay, so this is the idea how you can make it. This input data, okay. Equivalent to with the sum of variable, okay. Equivalent to with the sum variable, okay. It's quite easy, okay. That's why I said. So you have just this one only, okay. Ignore this first, okay. So what happen in this set of read data, okay? You have read data, and then. What happen in here? We read the first value, second value, and third value. Okay, so this is one method how you can read some variable. Okay, inside the text file. Okay, so the idea we look for the example in here. Okay, so we use this one. Okay, this one, B O A N rating, and then you see, in this case, what happen? This input you already type it inside the text file. Okay, let's say I change this one to three hundred, then I save it. Okay, and then I try to run it. Okay, all this, so means that this V O will be become three hundred. Okay, I try to run. Okay, you have some example animation in here. That at the same time, okay. So what will the output? Okay. So the output will be at the output dot txt. Okay. So this is will be the output. I try to open it. So you got this is will be the output. So any output no more being displayed at the command window. Everything will be saved inside the file. Okay. Same goes to the input. So this is will be input everything inside the Text file. Okay, so you got the idea in here. So means that in here now the input file is from. It's not on the script file. Okay, the input is came from the file. Okay, so try to practice all of this, but you see in this even in this example, okay. 
back to this one first. Okay, I add this three line. If FID okay equal will equal really equal because you have two. Okay, minus one. So means that if you don't have this file, okay, input dot text is not there. So you'll pop up a error. Okay, we we'll pop up an error, and then we'll be display file open not successful. For example, I change it to in here. Okay, and then save. I try to run it, and then you see, we got this error. File open not successful. Okay, this is a kind like data validation. So you need you need to add this four line actually. Okay, FID. I can and then this one what will be displayed. Okay, we are using selection command if. Okay, if no file will display like this or else it will run perfectly without any problem. But to complete this command, you see at the end of this. That's why we have end in here. Okay, so that's end actually for this data validation. Okay, if else and end. Okay, so you need to remember this. Okay, this one for data validation. But if for the input data only three lines like this. If you have three kind of input data. Okay, this one, this example is only three variables. If you have more, okay, like Wayla that you did previously, so you have lots. Okay, so you need to add more lines. Okay, so basically that's all for this file management topic. Okay, so what you can get for this. Okay, so you have your read input. Okay, this is a set for the read of the text file. Okay, and then this one n. Okay, it's related to the this data validation. Okay. So basically that's all okay topic for the file management okay so you need to modify more let's say we are using in here this one it is fixed data inside the input now how we can write with a new one Okay, whereby in here, what I can say is we are not using input command. So how can we use input command to be right inside this text file? Okay, means that your input data is empty. Okay, and then you use input command to write inside the file. How you can use this? Actually, it's related to this example one okay related to this one or the previous example three if i'm not mistaken okay you can use uh input okay i just show a brief something like this so you need to think okay how you can use input command okay related to this exercise okay actually i show previously can okay, show before how you can use the input to be right inside the text file okay so find it how you can use that one okay so means that in here rather than input is just read inside the input but you can write the new input data into the file okay so Look at the example, all the example properly. Try to this, uh, do this all exercise. So later you can get this answer. Okay. All right. I think that's all. Okay. So, but please remember, uh, mostly your tests will be covered up to these topics. Okay. Please do all this exercise. Try to practice all of this. Okay. And then. There will be last assignment or hands-on. I'll give all the details later. I think that's all for today. 
If you have any problem, please do contact me. Okay, thank you very much and Assalamualaikum.